Hey, what's up everybody? Hungry Hussy here, and we're on the back porch again today. We have a pretty nice treat for you. Yes, that's right, you. So, this is just gonna be a sandwich. But this isn't gonna be an ordinary sandwich. If some of you might know a Monte Cristo, pretty good, it's French, wee oui, wee, oui. you know, that kind of thing. Today, you know, we're in North Carolina. North, by God, Carolina. North Cacalac. By the way, those Tar Heels spanked those Blue Devils last night too, okay? Instead of a Monte Cristo, we're gonna do a Monte Carlo. That's right, those big, long doors, you know, like from the 70s or 80s, the Monte Carlo. What's this Monte Carlo going to consist of? It's gonna have some barbecue. That's what we call bar, we call barbecue here, what people call pulled pork. We call it barbecue, all right? We're gonna do barbecue. We got American cheese. We got some Swiss cheese. We got some thick Texas toast that we're gonna put this on as well. And we're gonna dip this in some egg. And this Monte Carlo, y'all, it's gonna be right. So, check back with me here. You will not wanna miss it. Here is the ingredients of our Monte Carlo. We got your barbecue, your pulled pork, whatever you wanna call it. We got two slices of Swiss cheese. We got two slices of American cheese. Three slices of Texas toast. We have mayonnaise. We have barbecue sauce. And that's extra barbecue sauce for dipping. Here we have one egg and a tablespoon of milk to dredge your bread into before you fry it. All right, so we're gonna assemb start assembling this Monte Carlo. We're gonna do three slices of Texas toast. Wanna make sure you have, have them orientated like they were in the bag. Three slices of Texas toast. I'm gonna mayonnaise this side. This is good quality mayonnaise, y'all. Dukes, the only mayonnaise. All right. We're gonna do that, okay? And we're gonna do this one. We're actually, this middle piece, this middle piece, we're gonna flip it over, okay? And we're gonna mayonnaise that side too. Because why? Because we're Southerners, and we eat mayonnaise, by God. So, this is how we wanna do it. I wanna put a slice of Swiss there, slice of Swiss there. And I want to have these like sandwiched on that pork. American cheese because, well, this is America. All right, and we'll have to put the other on top when we flip that over. Put that there. All right, so we take a little bit of our pork and then we just want to put it on our sandwich. Yeah, okay. Don't want to go too crazy because, well, it's a double decker. Flip this piece over on that, right? And now, uh oh. Mayonnaise. Actually, just for some, let's jazz this up a little bit. Let's put just a little bit of this barbecue sauce on that pork, okay? All right, now, a little bit more pork. Whew, this gonna be good, boy. Get back on there. Now, that piece of cheese on there and we put this piece of cheese on there like that boy now here's gonna come the tricky part we got to press this thing down and what I'm going to use is my trusty press you want to make sure it's nice and compressed so I'm gonna go at this from all angles and then we're gonna cut the 
edges off this. My trusty Dexter. Okay. We're going to square it up. Use a little bit of saran wrap to really make sure it's compressed. this bad boy again yeah get your muscles working out right there boy okay I'd say we got a nice nice compressed Monte Carlo ha. Monte Carlo <laughs> we got one egg and a tablespoon of milk okay just mix that up well Dip it and dip it. We're gonna do all sides too. We don't want to skimp on this. This is Monte Carlo. There we go. We're gonna put this on the Blackstone, y'all. Check it back. Welcome back, folks. Now it's time to get a nice crust on this Monte Carlo. We're gonna use a little bit of this is clarified butter. Yeah. Look at that. We got this, uh, we got the griddle on low, low heat. And we're gonna just gonna take our Monte Carlo and we're just gonna put it right there. Ooh. We're gonna leave this on. We're gonna leave this on for two to three minutes. Okay, so it's been it's been three minutes. Let's give this thing a look. Woo! Look at that crust. You said we're on a low heat, okay? And we're gonna let this go for three minutes. <clears throat> okay, so this has been on for this other side for three minutes. We're just gonna give it a look see. Oh, yeah. I wanna make sure these sides are nice and brown. to get some more I'm gonna get some more color on this let side this down right there let's put this bad boy on there and get a little bit better contact oh yeah that's a little bit better do the same on that side a little bit okay oh yeah that's much better there you have it folks that's the Monte Carlo. All right, we're gonna put this over on our cutting board. Cut this bad boy open. If you don't have one of these knives, this knives right here cut great. Especially briskets, uh, ribs, you name it, even sandwiches. All right, let's cut it. Boy, look at that, y'all. The Monte Carlo. A little bit of barbecue sauce. And that's it right there. There you have it, folks. The Monte Carlo is done. I must say, this is a heck of a sandwich. It's Hunger Hussy style, I'm gonna tell you that. And I can't wait to try it. So, without further ado, if you don't mind, we're gonna try the Monte Carlo. We're gonna dip it in a little bit of this sauce. This barbecue sauce, whatever your favorite is. <laughs> mm, mm. That's the Monte Carlo dance. <laughs> Guys, mm. well, first of all, there's four slices of cheese, right? So it's very creamy. You get the Swiss that's got kind of like a nutty flavor, right? And then that American cheese, cause it's just creamy goodness. It's processed, I know. Don't 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 give me a lecture. I like it, okay? And then that that barbecue. 
it's smoky it's good plus i got that other barbecue sauce on there and then the mayonnaise brings it on to creamy then the outside where that custardy finish is on that texas toast dang i'm gonna get into another one of these y'all mm -mm -mm. mm. oh my god mm. if i can marry this thing i would after the cameras come off of this I'm going to be on this sucker like a hobo in a hot pocket, let me tell you. Guys, I sure do appreciate every one of you for liking, subscribing, commenting. Um, I've gotten to know some of you folks uh, through Facebook Messenger. We chat on occasion. Um, starting to make some really good relationships with everybody. And I just appreciate everybody. So if you don't mind, please give me a like. Subscribe to this channel. Give me a comment too because I will interact with you. So with that said, guys, Hungry Hussy is out.